Hello everyone, this is Leviathan89 and welcome to Let's Play Silent Hunter 3. We finished our last episode with our first kill. We sunk a ship south of the coast of Spain. We sunk a large cargo with 7, 000, of 7,000 tons. And it's uh, the 15th of November 1941, 9.18am. Weather is lovely. And yeah, we've sunk one ship and of course we try and go for more. Um, as you can see, I got a new GUI because the first comment I got on my first video was your GUI is hurting my eyes and I don't want to hurt anyone's eyes and the original NYGM GUI at least the HD version is kind of hideous. So, I got a new one. It's a uh, Manos GUI or Ma GUI in the War Race campaign version. And I think it is kind of pretty, isn't it? At least prettier than the one we had before. Okay, uh, the plan for this episode is to um, do some more zigzagging west of Gibraltar, see if we can uh, find some enemy ships to sink. And if that doesn't work, I think we'll go back north and refuel at the Bessel, a German ship that uh, where we can refuel and maybe get some extra torpedoes. And after that, we can go back to the North Atlantic, the uh, natural habitat of the German U-boat, so to speak. All right. I'll uh, get back to you as soon as something interesting happens. Uh, ship spotted right in front of us. The weather is absolutely atrocious. We got thick fog and rain and so uh, the ship was right in front of us. We've only spotted it when it was like what? 500 meters away? Yeah, something like that. So I got to uh, Periscope left immediately. That's not exactly a great way to start an attack. I didn't uh, get the weather report, had no time for that. Hmm. Let's hope we will be able to sink her anyway. Ah, we are too close, we are so close. Let's get down to a head slow. She's only like, yeah, 500 meters away, something like that. Let's... Get up the attack periscope, oh, that's just a small freighter. Um, yeah, we have to do this attack really quickly. Um, Torpedo settings, yeah. five minutes, okay, magnetic pistol, speed, uh, angle on bow is something like 90, basically 90 degrees. Uh, range. Speed? Oh, we didn't get a speed. Um, I think it's a small freighter. This is... Jeez. 
Ah. Didn't get that right. That's completely... Let's assume her speed is 7 knots. 7 knots. Five hundred meters range is about right. Or eins. Los. That's. Yeah, that was garbage. That was like pure garbage. But we got a hit. Great. A hit? Ha! Huh. Who would have thought? Um. That's great. We got a hit. I mean, it's a small freighter, I suppose. Probably like lousy. Ah, oh, God! Look at this weather. Oh, where is she? I can't even find her. Ah, oh, there she. Hit her at the bow. I hope that makes her go down because I really don't want to mess, uh, waste a second torpedo on her. We can follow her around a bit. Now that was a that was one quick attack we had to do, but well, it worked. I'm actually very glad it did. It's by the way, um, November seventeenth, nineteen forty-one. The last two days have been absolutely boring, no contact whatsoever, and now in the worst weather, we almost crash <laughs> into an enemy freighter. Yeah, she's listing. She's listing heavily. Come on, go down. God, the weather is just such a nightmare. Such a nightmare. Go down, go down. <laughs> and she's going down. We got the message. Enemy unit destroyed. Great. Great, that was that was good. I really like uh, the uh, ship sinking behavior or the damage uh, model in NYGM. I'm not sure if it's the same as as in uh, Grey Wolves. But in NYGM, it might happen to you that it takes a ship that you hit an hour or more to sink. In other, uh, in uh, Stock 703, some other mods, you know that uh, if the ship doesn't go down immediately after you hit it with your torpedo, then it won't sink at all. Um, but in NYGM, everything can happen. Anything can happen. Um, 
great. Like to see that. Uh, let's see what we got. I guess it's a small freighter. Coastal ship. Uh, I don't know what the official English version of that is. In um, Sinatra 3. Küstenschiff. Coastal freight or something like that. Uh, 2,500 tons. That's not too bad for such a quick attack. One torpedo. Great. Okay. Uh, that was some... Oh no, that would be... Let's go back one more time. Watch her go down. Poor sailors, poor bastards. In this kind of weather, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't want to leave a sinking ship. Um, awesome. Whoa, there are some big ass underwater explosions. From that. All right, let's continue our patrol and I'll get back to you as soon as something interesting happens. And uh, let's hope the weather soon improves, because this is not a good, good condition to hunt. Not at all. Okay, so uh, we got a contact report of a, a large convoy that is heading south-southeast at medium speed. The weather, as you can see, is still awful. And I think it is still our duty to try and intercept the convoy. Now, as you can see, south, southeast, why would they head there to the African coast? Doesn't make any sense. I assume, I assume that there are close to changing course and that they're going to Gibraltar. Um, because actually these Sierra Leone convoys to Freetown, they, they are operating on a different... Wait, where's the map? Different route. They're far out west. They don't go here. At least that's what I assume. I'm not sure. I think we... Um, should try and get there. Maybe the weather will improve in the meantime. That would be great because in this weather it's absolutely impossible to attack a convoy. Um, because <laughs> we won't even see it. We won't be able to spot it. Um, and unless we're lucky and li right, li like running right into the convoy, um, yeah, we will just miss it in this weather. But let's hope for the best and let's try to get there. Um, maybe I go here, something like that, and I hope they've changed course until then and my prediction was right. If it wasn't, then we go to Vigo and refuel and then go to the North Atlantic. All right. See. Okay, the good news is we're very near the convoy. It has moved from, we got another uh, contact report. It has moved from here to there. So we're very close. Um, the bad news, however, is that the weather... Well, let's see for yourself. Still a nightmare. There's no way we can spot anything or hunt anything under this con these conditions. So, yeah, we'll still try to get the convoy, get to the convoy, find the convoy. Maybe the weather will change. I don't think it will, but anything's possible. Um, 
Let's speed up a little. A head flank. And let's try and get that convoy. Okay, let's dive. And uh, let's get to the hydrophone. We can't see anything up here, but I think we can uh, hear something down there. If there's something around. There should be, this convoy should be around by right now. I think. Okay, we picked something up. Ah, uh, the convoy has moved there. Yeah, they changed course. That's what I figured. That's what I knew they would do. Um, how far out are they? 12 kilometers. Let's mark this here. Yeah, they've moved from here to here. That's what I've. All right, let's get her up. Yeah, they're gonna go to uh, heading towards Gibraltar. Let's say general course will be some like this. I mean, it's like. Okay. Okay, let's uh, try and catch the convoy. All right, we should have overtaken the convoy by now. I think, I hope. And let's go down to Periscope Death. Uh, let's uh, listen again. And then we can do a submerged attack. Try getting clo as close as possible. Um, and then see what we can get. And if we uh, can actually attack it. Conditions for a convoy attack are far from ideal this is i haven't done this ever i think uh, attacking convoy in uh, under these horrible conditions there's the contact let's go ahead slow where is the only the warship Okay. Kontakt, Frachter, kommt näher auf zwei, drei, vier, große Entfernung. Kontakt, Frachter, kommt näher auf zwei, drei, drei, große Entfernung. So, the direction they moved in was a little more like this. Okay, so uh, we can't attack her yet. Uh, they, like uh, this way, we won't attack them yet. This way, we won't get them. Head full, and let's get our boat up again. 
Kontakt. Auftauchen. Frachter kommt näher. Vorne oben 10, hinten kommt auch Große Entfernung. Kontakt. Frachter kommt näher. Kennt man all these contract reports? Sechs. Oh. No, okay, the convoy is uh, here, so like that. So now we are actually on a good way. I mean, I'm not sure, or I don't think that this what I'm doing just now is like historically accurate. Like, uh, go to periscope death, listen for like a minute, then go up, then. Go another, f like, I don't know, f four kilometers s surface, then submerge again. Yeah, but I think it will work. <laughs> or oh, I hope it will work. No. Jawohl, Herr Kaloin. Gehen wieder auf Kurs, Herr Kaloin. No. That's not what I wanted to do. But okay, let's go back to Periscope Death. Uh, wind speed, by the way, is uh, 12 meters per second. So. We will have dots, but I think 12 meters is okay. There is, uh, there are uh, hits are possible with 12 meters per second. Not sure. Um, yeah, we'll see. Kontakt, Frachter, kommt näher auf 283. Große Entfernung. Der nächste Convoy, ja. Let's slow down to um, Jawohl, Herr slow the escorts are Kleine Fahrt voraus. Kleine Fahrt voraus. Yeah, they might be able otherwise they might be able to hear us. And I don't want that to happen. We should be Almost within the convoy. Oh, yeah. They are like three kilometers away, something like that. I have no idea what their course is or speed because I have no visual contacts. Once they are in our sights, um, I have to do it, or oh, we have to do it all very quickly. Huh? <laughs> There's our first visual contact. Oh my god. I'm going right into her. Oh god, oh god, they're almost... What's the course? Is 
71 degrees. Man, this is not... Oh, what if... Okay, this is one huge target. Let's see. Five is okay. It's way too close. Way too close. Um... Say 300. I'm trying to use this new attack disc. Horse, horse. Ah, don't know how to use this. To get the AOP with this. No. And this uh, 71 degrees, so at 50 degrees starboard at 300. A little more than 50 actually. Speed. I have no idea. Absolutely no clue. But we're so close. Let's assume she's like 150 meters long, even though I know she isn't. Man, this is everything but textbook what I'm doing here. This is... This is uh, sort of nonsense. She's 150 meters. She's going at like what seven knots. Yeah, I think we did it. Okay, Rohr 2. Los. Rohr 3. Los. No, it's Rohr 1. <laughs> All right, we got a hit. We got a hit. Good. Okay, the uh, second one went under. So. Five meters, quick. Um, I think we were okay, seven knots. They were it. What's this one? Um, look at this one. Anglon bow is. Okay, I'm doing this the new way. Eighty, like eighty degrees, something like eighty degrees. Range. It's actually. This is... <laughs> Look at this! This is... Oh god. Oh. 
And we hit! We actually hit her! <laughs> I can't believe it! What a nonsense attack! Um, okay, we haven't got any credit yet. Is there anything behind us? Okay, um, this one is also way too close, actually. This well, I have no idea. Speed still just let's try it. Wall well, fünf los. Oh no, I forgot to. This is... What the hell is this to this death? This is nonsense. One meter. Uh, it's of course nonsense. Okay, this one ran too deep anyway. Um, yeah, we messed this up. We I forgot to set the uh, depth of the torpedo correctly and this was all nonsense. This was just shit. Um... Ahoy! Trying to uh, hit her a second time, although I don't think this will work. Okay, from here, close. And we got a second hit and now she's going down and we're out of torpedoes and in order to reload we need to dive. Nope, that's not what I wanted. Man, that was... Yeah, that wasn't all very professional what I just did, just going right into the convoy and then firing everything with, uh, with a really half-assed <laughs> um, TDC settings, just guessing everything and so on and so forth. But, hey, we got one kill and this one... Uh, she is listing a little, but I think she will survive. And the escorts? Are there any escorts? Yeah, but they are apparently unable to find us.
And there she goes. So what did we think actually? Medium cargo, 5,000 tons. Okay, we are hearing those underwater explosions of the ship we just uh, sent down to the bottom. Um, oh, these eerie noises. <laughs> And some more explosions, good lord. Twenty one minutes till let's go down to uh, fifty meters, shall we? Why is my torpedo loading crew so... Should I send more men to the uh, compartment? I'm playing without fatigue by the way. Um, you shouldn't be doing that, I shouldn't be doing that with NYGM because this mod has also an overall um, fatigue and crew management system and that's all kind of, yeah, it's supposed to be a bit more realistic and better than the uh, crew management system of Stock 703 um problem is i don't like to babysit my crew as a commander of a u-boat i don't like crew management to me it adds nothing to the fun it's just it's just a hassle just make things more complicated without adding more fun you know that's why i'm playing without fatigue just in case you were wondering um God damn it, we're almost all out of torpedoes. We definitely need to go to uh, Vigo and to refuel and get some more torpedoes. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Let's see if we can reload our torpedoes and uh, commence the attack. Although the convoy is probably a little faster than we are. And as soon as something happens... Uh, and to... another update. Um, We've just reloaded one torpedo. Uh, torpedo tube five almost finished, only four more minutes. And uh, six more minutes for tube one. But the most important thing is that we got a confirmation that these. And there are you hear the underwater explosions. Maybe we can. Wow! That's the second ship we hit and I thought she would survive but apparently or obviously uh, she didn't. She's going down. Uh, some of poor bastards this is not exactly the best night of your life. Yeah, there, down she goes. This attack has so far qu been quite successful because, let's check. What did we sink? Uh, another medium cargo? Well, three and a half thousand tons. All right, uh, uh, loading is finished. Let's get back to periscope death. The escorts don't find us. It's Probably because of the rough seas and the uh, the fact that we're in the middle of the convoy. 
I don't know. But they thus far they have failed to pick us up. On uh, Astig. Right ahead. Slow. Oh, what do we have here? Um, still got it. Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Neuer Kurs. Drei, drei, sieben. That's a uh, uh, um what's the ship name? Empire type freighter. I think it's an Empire type. Ah oh, no no, that's not this one. That's that one. Ah. One hundred forty degrees. Now oh, we're not getting him. Oh, I'd love to get this Empire type freighter, but this one, this is also kind of juicy. Uh, trying to attack her, but she's too close. Too close. We gotta get back. What's that behind us? So another quick one. Angle and bow. Seventy degrees, something like that. Speed seven knots, roughly three hundred. Um, quick. And oh, she might be too close. She might be too close. No, we hit. Perfect. Ah, I'm getting better at this. Um, and slow. And then we get this one. Oh, this is all. Uh, she's in a bad position. Um, bad angle. I mean, we haven't given to them about bang uh, bad angles this far. <laughs> bad angles uh, thus far, but no, that's not good. What is we there? Another juicy target. What have we had here? I think it was a C3 cargo. Contact. Something like that. Auf drei, vier, zwei. Große Entfernung. Good hit below the mast, actually. Well, let's hope for the best. And where are we here? Jawohl, Herr Kaloy. Ruder, null, 600 meters. 180, uh, 60 degrees, 60 degrees, something like that, yeah, 60 degrees, 600 meters away. Head slow. Oh, it's all blurred. Torpedo settings uh, five meter small. Uh, 
Um, this is an awful angle, uh, uh, gyro angle, actually. And the escorts remain absolutely confused. Apparently, they don't know at all where we are. I mean, look at this. There's still one's here, one's here, one's here, one's here. And they completely fail to find us. Seems like they're not even looking, even though we're sunk or uh, we've already sunk two ships, damaged the third one. Now, hopefully, this one. Go back a little. She's like what, 400 meters? Get her angle and bow again. Uh, 80, 60, 55 degrees. And the last one. And that's it second hit great that was almost too easy yeah she should go down I think um, we've yeah we are out of torpedoes we're completely out of torpedoes so um, let's retreat and say um, that was one successful Conway attack. <laughs> Very, uh, yeah. We hurried up. It was all very quick, very, not very precise and uh, kind of unprofessional, I'm afraid. Um, a lot of luck, probably. But we sunk two ships and we hit two more. Maybe uh, one or both of them will go down, or at least one of them will go down. So our results are really not that bad. Let's go down to uh, get our periscope down. And let's go down to 80 meters. Yeah, was, was that the ship we hit earlier or... No, that's the ship we hit earlier. Oh, she's deep in the water. Ah, let's get those. Gorgeous. Yeah, she's not looking too good, although I'm not sure whether she will sink or not. She could also survive, it's hard to say. Um, just large ship and it was just one hit. And uh, yeah, the other one 
we got two hits on the other one, so it sh she should go down. Actually, I hope. Let's see. Um, yeah, now we'll uh, try to get out of the convoy without being detected by the escorts. And as soon as something happens, I'll get back to you. Okay, update one. Uh, we got the confirmation. We sank a uh, large cargo, 7,000 tons. That's good. But, as you can hear, we're being pinged. So, uh, yeah, the escorts eventually got to us. So they're pinging us, but they're still quite far away. Or are they? Is there one that... Uh, there's some noises of... Okay, now we hear there's something right above us. Okay, now that that's probably an escort that I didn't see on, couldn't see on the map or. Oh no no no. Are they driving death charges? Can't hear anything. Oh no, the, now there's the death charges. Okay, one death charge got close. We are uh, shaking a bit. Ah oh, man, these escorts are furious. That's a load of depth charges. But still too shallow. Too shallow or too far off. I don't know. Probably also too shallow. Man, we're only at 91 meters. I'm a little disappointed, gentlemen. I thought you could do better. There's, I don't know these escort types too well. Um, it's one of, I like these results. We're at uh, roughly 25,000 tons, if I'm adding this up correctly. <laughs> and um, that looks good. That's not bad. And for a Type 7 patrol, that's not bad at all. And the uh, destroyer is doing another attack run. Can you hear him? Him, her? Is it a destroyer, a he or a she? Ships are she's, aren't they? <laughs> Don't know why I'm thinking about this right now. Ah, uh, right above us. Wait for it, she's right above us.
Oh, oh god, we got damage, we got damage, we were damaged. Das Boot ist beschädigt, Herr Kaloin. Go deeper, go deeper. Neue Tiefe, 1, 2, 4 Meter. Okay, uh, all the damage we got is, uh, our flag gun has been slightly damaged, but yeah. That's okay, slightly damaged flag gun, flag gun, we can live with I that. I think we're okay. I think I think they've uh, abandoned the search for us. Well, no, they gave up quickly. Um, let's um, get back up north. See if we can get away. Yes. Oh no! They're pinging us again! Ha! <laughs> I thought we had gotten away. Ah! Uh, I was cheering too early. They haven't given up yet. <laughs> and I thought here a little bit of silent running and we're off the hook. No, we aren't. Ping! Ah, uh, god damn it, this is annoying. Leave me alone. Here they come, right above us. There she is. Whoa. Okay, these uh, some of these death charges were kind of close, so they uh, there was a little shaking of our boat, but yeah, I think we're fine. Let's get down to 50 RPM. Maybe sneak away. Sneak, 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 sneak. No. We're being pinged. That bastard just won't give up. Change course a little. Yeah. 
He won't give up. Why won't you give up? Leave me alone. <laughs> um. Yes. All right, he's already behind us. Here he comes. Here he comes. Where is he? Right above us. Right above us. What noise was that? We got a, a another confirmation. Um, enemy unit destroyed. I told you that uh, sometimes take quite long for them to sink. So uh, yeah, that C three cargo we hit with our. I think it was a stern torpedo. Six thousand tons, six and a half thousand tons. Ah, that's great. So we are at roughly more than thirty thousand tons on this first patrol with a Type Seven U-boat. That's uh, superb, I'd say. That's a very good patrol. Um. Yeah, even in the in, in real life, in the real war, uh, uh, thirty thousand tons in a Type Seven patrol. Um, those were great results. It did happen. Uh, U-boat commanders on Type Sevens uh, did do that more than thirty thousand tons on a patrol. For instance, Heinrich uh, Lehmann, the commander of the famous uh, U ninety six that you know from Das Boot. He made that. He, uh, I think, more than once uh, that he got more than thirty thousand tons on a single patrol. So yeah, and we we just we made that. That's an yeah great convoy attack. Look at this. Um, what's that? Four ships sunk out of the convoy. I don't know why this icon is gray though. Actually. No, is it three or four? Wait. You know, we sank four four ships out of the convoy. I have no idea why this icon is gray here, but yeah. So all we have to do now is um, get away, getting away from this goddamn escort. Let's change course a little. But uh, that fella won't give up so easily. He just, he won't. Yeah, he's pinging us again. Man, I wish he would go away. Oh, did she right above us? Let's try and get away.
Touche. Oh, oh, okay. Those last ones were... Oh, yeah. The boat is shaking, but no damage. We're fine, we're fine. And another attack run. <sighs> Leave me alone. Whoa! Can we? No. It's too dark to uh, follow the death charges down. She's furious, but that doesn't help her. That charge is almost no. Oh, whoa, 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 okay. <laughs> I was I was too cocky there. Okay, these these one got close. Whoa, they were close. They shook us quite a bit. Oh no, we got damage. We got damage. We got damage. Okay, what happened? What happened? Um. Okay, uh, a slight damage on the diesel uh, engine. So we have to, in order to repair it, the repair team doesn't do anything. They 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 can the uh, repair the uh, bow room and the uh, this aft or stern. I don't know how is it called. Uh, this room. But in order to repair the diesel engine, uh, other rooms, you have to put crew members there. Uh, we shot our torpedoes. So, get here. And then uh, they fix it automatically or begin fixing it automatically. Um, and then since we took damage at 120 meters, they're not too bad, those escorts. <laughs> I was a bit too cocky there. <laughs> a little bit of a big mouth and see what it got me. Damage diesel. Let's get down to, uh, and end this, to 160 meters. And then we're definitely out of this reach. Or so I hope. Okay, our diesel is repaired. Um, let's get back to the uh, bow room. Okay, I think uh, I think we lost him. Uh, he's apparently given up eventually. Um, there have been no attacks for quite a while now, and also uh, according to this map, he's here. Or she? Is he or she? I don't know. Uh, the escort is here somewhere, the destroyer. 
So yeah, I think we're good. I think we're off the hook. And... We're surfacing. All right, so we're back at the surface. Um, we finished our first convoy attack. It was very successful. Uh, four ships sunk. And um, yeah, now we're heading for uh, Vigo. I think I'll uh, refuel there. Uh, uh, we'll, yeah, we'll refuel there. Hopefully get uh, some extra torpedoes. I don't really think we'll uh, get too many of them. Maybe the weather will improve a little so uh, we can uh, load those uh, from those external torpedoes. We can't do that right now because uh, because of the weather conditions. But if the weather improves, we get an extra torpedo from there. Then hopefully one or two extra torpedoes, fr uh, two torpedoes from the uh, vessel. And uh, yes, but we will do that in the next episode. Because I think this uh, great convoy attack is a good way to end this episode. Um, I'm Leviathan89. This is uh, Let's Play Silent Hill 3. Uh, hope I see you next time. Thank you for watching.